Hi everybody, welcome back. I've got a product today that I am excited to share with you. I This is one of those, okay, yeah, it's a Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> I know, I know, I review a lot of those, but this one is really cool. This is the, when I first heard this speaker, I went, oh, something like that. Some, <laughs> some, some guttural noise of excitement. That, I don't know. I, I wasn't recording at the time. Maybe I should have been. Maybe I should have my initial reaction video. Anyway, LFS Soundstorm by Young Wolg. Spoiler alert, I have a stack of upcoming Bluetooth speakers that is taller than me. But I pulled this one off the pile today and I saw Mega Bass. And I thought, okay, right. Let's just see about that. <laughs> I immediately went to run the jewels and it's your teeth will rattle, but maybe you like your dental work and maybe you don't want to visit from your local law enforcement agents and maybe you enjoy your neighbors. Well, that's okay because this sounds great with any kind of music. When I first pulled it out of the box, I saw this and I thought, Oh no, it's going to be waterproof, isn't it? And so, well, okay, I'm, I'll, I'll worry about that later. And then I listened to this thing and it sounded so beautiful. And I just, I thought, oh, no, no, please don't make me throw this in the sink. <laughs> maybe, okay, maybe it isn't waterproof. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just water resistant. And then I looked at the, copy and it said IPX6. I went, oh no, they're going to make me test it and it's going to fail and I don't want it to fail. And so I threw it in a sink of water and it didn't fail. It didn't fail. This is really waterproof. I don't know what to tell you first. I love this thing. This is 7.3 pounds of glory. There are basically two two-way speakers in this. There are dual three-inch 35-watt woofers and dual 15-watt tweeters and dual passive radiators on the side. And yeah, you can see it's wet. This was in the sink, I promise you. I am just about ready to give up on my campaign for single function buttons, but Look at this, look at all the space they could have used for dedicated buttons and didn't. I just don't get it. Why? I, I know it's a standard, but it's a, it's a terrible standard. <laughs> just, I okay. Anyway, I had to turn on a brighter light to show you this. This is your waterproof port cover. And behind it, we have a three and a half inch millimeter auxiliary input. This is a USB-C power bank port. This is not how you charge it. To charge it, you have a dedicated DC transformer. This thing, when was the last time you saw a, a power bank like this for a Bluetooth speaker? I don't know if I ever have. I am going to nominate the LFS Soundstorm for the most useless button award. This is not a speaker where you need a bass boost. <laughs> Please don't use this. Turn that, just turn that off and leave it off. You, you do not need that. As you can see, this has the RGB light show that's so popular among Bluetooth speakers. And when you have music playing, these bars are bouncing up and down and these speakers are throbbing. And you can certainly cut that off and it would probably make your battery last longer. Um, I I don't mind it. I, I I like it. It looks it looks good. It looks fun. It's this is definitely a party speaker. The LFS Soundstorm of course supports true wireless stereo. And yes, you should definitely do that. <laughs> no, you don't need it. You do not need that. This sounds fantastic all by itself. But sure. Absolutely. Yes, of course. If if it's in the budget, get two of these. Oh, Oh, you want me to tell you something bad about this speaker? Oh, okay, okay, I can do that. This speaker sounds fantastic until about 30% volume. 
Now, hold on, keep in mind that this is a 100 watt speaker. So 30% volume is still going to fill a room with pleasant punching bass. When you push the speaker above 30% volume, it keeps getting louder, yes, but at the expense of sound quality. But some people don't care about that. Have you ever pulled up to one of those 20-year-old guys in their cars with the pounding stereos and the windows are rattling and the doors are rattling? The, you know, it's got, it sounds awful outside. I'm not even, I'm not talking about being annoyed by how loud it is. I'm just, I'm annoyed at how bad it sounds. And this can put you in that same zone, but it doesn't have to. Keep it at 30% or lower and you can be in a world of beauty. But if you don't care about beauty, you just want it loud, you can do that too. This speaker is for both worlds. And did I mention a 30 hour battery? 30 hours? <laughs> I tell you, uh, it just, it's products like this that make doing these fun. And I am so happy to be able to share this with you. Uh, yeah, five out of five stars. I love this speaker and I hope you get a chance to hear it sometime.